Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to study about the design of binary counters by flip-flops. Now, what is a binary counter? A binary counter is a counter that follows binary sequence. To design an n-bit binary counter, we need n flip-flops. An n-bit binary counter uh, can count in binary from 0 to 2 raised to power n minus 1. Now, we will design a 3-bit binary counter with t flip-flops. Now this is the diagram which shows the working of uh, this 3-bit binary counter. Okay, it shows that if uh, present output of binary counter is 0, 0, 0, then the next output of the binary counter should be 0, 0, 1. If present output of the binary counter is 0, 0, 1, then the next output of the binary counter should be 0, 1, 0. Okay. So in this way, if uh, present output of binary counter is 1, 1, 0, then the next output of the binary counter should be 1, 1, 1. And if present output is uh, 1, 1, 1, then the next output should be 0, 0, 0. Right. Now it is a 3-bit binary counter. Okay. Now let us call this uh, leftmost bit A and uh, middle bit B and this rightmost bit is C. Okay. So what happens uh, now we since we are going to design a 3-bit uh, binary counter with the T flip-flops so we require 3 T flip-flops. So here we have 3 T flip-flops A, B and C. Output of A flip-flop is bit A. Output of B flip-flop is bit B. Output of C flip-flop is bit C. Input uh, for this uh, A flip-flop is TA. Input for B flip-flop is TB. And input for C flip-flop is PC. Right. Now when we design a binary counter with a flip-flop, we must know its excitation table. Okay. So this is the excitation table for T flip-flop. Right. Now see what it means. It uh, says uh, that when uh, the present output of flip-flop is zero and uh, we want that uh, next output will also be zero, then the input of T flip-flop should be zero. And uh, this uh, row specifies that uh, if uh, present output of uh, T flip-flop is zero and we want that uh, next output uh, of flip-flop is uh, one, then uh, what we have to do, we ha will have to apply the input 1. And this row specifies uh, if uh, present output of uh, T flip-flop is 1 and uh, we want that uh, next output uh, will be 0. Then the input of T flip-flop should be 1. So you can observe from this uh, excitation table of T flip-flop that when the input of T flip-flop is 0, then the next output of the flip-flop will be same as the previous one. But when the input of T flip-flop is 1, then the next output of T flip-flop will be the reverse of previous output of the flip-flop. Okay. This is the excitation table for the 3-bit binary counter which is made up of T flip-flops. Right. Now see this uh, table shows that if uh, the present output of a binary counter is 0, 0, 0 then the next output of the binary counter should be 0, 0, 1. Right. Uh, see here in this row it uh, specifies that if a present output of the binary counter is 0, 1, 1 then the next output of the binary counter should be 1, 0, 0. Right. If a present output uh, of the binary counter is 1, 1, 1, then the next output of the binary counter should be 0, 0, 0, right. Now, as I told uh, previously that uh, uh, leftmost uh, bit in a binary counter, okay, is uh, denoted by A and it is the output of flip-flop A and middle bit in a binary counter, okay, which is the output of binary counter is uh, the output of flip-flop B and it is denoted by B, right? And this rightmost bit in, my, uh, in the output of binary counter is the output of flip-flop C and it is denoted by C, right? So, see this row. 
of the table. Okay. Here, what happens if uh, present output uh, of binary counter is 0, 0, 0, then the next output of binary counter should be 0, 0, 1. It means if uh, the present uh, uh, value of uh, bit A, B, C are 0, 0, 0, then the next values of bits A, B, C in binary counter should be 0, 0, 1. Right. So here A is the output of A flip flop. Okay. So in this case, what we want, we want that the value of uh, this bit A should not be changed. It means the output of uh, flip flop A should be same as the previous one. And same in case of flip flop B. So in flip flop A and flip flop B, the input should be 0, 0, right? So what happens in case of P flip flops, if the inputs are 0, then the next output will be same as the previous one, right? But in case of uh, this bit C, okay, which is the output of flip flop C, right? Uh, what we want that the next output of uh, this T flip flop, this C flip flop should be changed okay it uh, should be 1 and previously it was 0 so we want that the output should be changed so in this case in uh, flip flop uh, C the input should be 1 because if uh, in T flip flop input is 1 then the next output will be the opposite of previous one now see in this uh, in case of uh, this row right uh, the present output of uh, binary counter is 1, 1, 1. So present values of uh, uh, output of flip flops A, B and C are 1, 1, 1. But uh, what we want that the next output of binary counter should be 0, 0, 0. So the next output of flip flops A, B, C should be 0, 0, 0. Right. So in uh, this case, uh, the next output of all the three flip-flops a b and c right should be changed okay they should be changed so in this case input of all these three flip-flops should be one 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 right p a denotes uh, the input of uh, flip-flop a t b denotes the input of flip-flop b and t c denotes the input of flip-flop c in uh, binary counter, next uh, output depends on present output, right? So now we have to write the functions for input variables TA, TB and TC in terms of A, B, C, right? We have to write the functions for input variables TA, TB and TC in terms of A, B, C, which specifies the present output of flip-flops, right? First of all, I will write a function for input variable TA. TA is 1 in these two rows. And in these uh, two rows, value of ABC is 0, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 1. So min terms uh, of uh, variables ABC corresponding to these two binary numbers is A complement BC and ABC. Right? So TA is equal to A complement BC plus ABC. This is the function for input variable TA. Now we have to minimize it. Now we can minimize it by K map. Now TA is equal to A complement BC. So this is the block corresponding to min term A complement BC. And this is the block corresponding to min term ABC. Right? Now we can combine these two adjacent blocks in KMAP. So we will get TA is equal to BC. Right? Because uh, in these two blocks, only the variable BC is common, right? Similarly, we will write the minimized uh, function for TB and TC, right? 
PB is uh, one in uh, these rows, right? So for PB. function will be A complement, B complement, C plus A complement, B, C plus A, B complement, C plus A, B, C. Right? Now we have to minimize uh, this function for T, B by K max. So when we minimize this function for uh, variable TB by using K map, we will get TB is equal to C. Similarly for uh, input variable TC, we can see that uh, uh, value of input variable TC is 1 in uh, all cases. right? So when we minimize uh, the function for variable TC by K map, we will get TC is equal to 1. right? So now we have to design a binary counter with uh, these uh, three D flip flops A, B, and C. Right? Now see uh, the input of uh, flip flop C is T C. Right? And uh, as we got T C should be equal to one. So input of this uh, flip flop C should be one. Right? Now see this uh, flip flop P. As uh, we have found that uh, its uh, input is uh, represented by variable TB and it should be equal to C. Right? So this C, right, which uh, is the present uh, output of uh, flip flop C, should be the input of flip flop B. Right? And input is denoted by variable TB. Right? Now see this uh, flip-flop A, its uh, input is variable TA, right? Now here uh, we got a function for TA, TA is equal to BC, right? So TA <laughs> is equal to BC. To get the term uh, BC, we will add uh, B and C by this AND gate, right? So output of this AND gate will be BC, right? And this BC will be connected to the input of uh, flip-flop A, right? So here TA is equal to BC. So this is the 3-bit uh, binary counter which is uh, made up of 3 T flip-flops.